Right, the Wi-Fi app. First thing you've got to do, obviously, is install it on your phone. So you can either scan the QR code on the box. There is a free barcode and QR code scanning app available if you want one. Or of course you can go to Google Play Store or iTunes or wherever you get your apps from. So with a barcode scanner, it's easy. Just a question of scanning, copy to clipboard or click on the link and whatever. Anyway, I've already done that obviously, so I'll skip that bit. Turn on your Wi-Fi. As I mentioned, the lower button here turns on Wi-Fi. Or of course you can use the pull down menu and turn it on via that. Turn on Wi-Fi. Password as you can see is 12345678 but you only need that the first time you install it. So as you can see it's come up on my phone here, SJ6 Legend. Do I want to connect to that? Yes, connect. And with this particular Motorola phone it comes up with a pop-up which says there's no internet here do you still want to connect there it is yes I do want to connect thank you so let's go to the app as you imagine I've got a few on here SJ cam first thing that comes up with the SJ cam app is with the latest version it will prompt you to download the latest firmware I've not tried using the app for updating firmware I must say I prefer to use the old-fashioned method my firmware is up to date so press on that and you're in camera mode camera and here we are as you can see my phone here is showing the screen of what the camera is looking at which is me looking at the phone with another video camera turn it landscape and you've got full screen now it's a bit laggy as you can see I'll just show you it's a bit laggy which means there's a bit of time delay that might be due to the processor in my phone not being all that smart and it, most of these apps do need a quad-core processor and even this old Motorola phone has got a quad-core processor so as you can see here on the display uh, you've got battery state time-lapse camera time-lapse camera stills in other words video you can download videos to your phone let's go back you can stop start recording remotely which is what it's doing now lights are flashing as you can see oh incidentally I mentioned the LEDs on the front well the blue light shows that you have got Wi-Fi connected and the green one obviously flashes when you're recording via the app so stop recording you can change settings via the app video resolution date stamp off I always get asked can you turn the date stamp off oh, it's in the spec and it's also in the menu so date stamp on audio on or off change settings I don't very often take stills with these but you can change the resolution of the stills much the same things that you can change in the menu on the phone come back out of that tells you that I'm in 1080 60 which is the thing I mostly use um, all in all very useful app and the range will probably be about 10 meters or so depends on your phone obviously so this app means that you could if you say you wanted to get some wildlife you could monitor the scene on your phone and when the action happens you could start and stop recording of course the important thing is if you've got auto power down activated on the phone it will actually well I haven't actually tried it with this but with most of these action cameras while it's in standby mode even with the Wi-Fi connected the auto power down will still power it down and of course you can't turn it on again from the app now the other thing is there's a shortcut there to changing the video resolution 1080 60 is my preferred for action sports why hasn't it changed come on it still is no maybe it's crashed I tell you what these things always work perfectly when I try them but as soon as you try demonstrating it then it stops working 
let's give it a chance to settle down yeah there you go 1080 60 and of course to stop the app operation just either stop the Wi-Fi like so that's already stopped it or turn the phone off like so